Hello again everyone, so let us have another sampler problem for USD. So in our problem number 2, given the following parameters of a rectangular beam, we would now be solving for the nominal strength and the design strength. So the first thing we should do is for us to draw our beam here. And take note guys that uh, since we already have the beam width and the beam effective depth, so take note, beam effective depth, meaning that that is already the value of D and not H. Okay, so meaning that if this is now our beam, so again, this is now our beam for suppose. So I will uh, represent all of these 10 pieces diameter rebars as one whole rebar, for example. So this will now consist of my AS, okay? So I will not draw 10 pieces of diameter rebars any longer because that would be hectic. So again, for the beam effective depth, that is now from the furthest compression fiber up until the centroid of the rebars already. Okay, so what is the use of the concrete cover and the shear reinforcement here? So basically, they do not have any use in our problem here. So take note that just because that he is there does not mean that you need him. Okay, so anyway... So, um, in our example here, so suppose that this is now our rebar, then let's see that this is now our compression block. So, let's say that this is now our compression block. So, with that, guys, redrawing our stress diagram, it would now look like this. So, this is now my stress diagram here. And then, uh, for the compression block, this is now our compression block. Okay, whereas once again, this is the value of A. And for collectively, this is now the representation of the 10 pieces diameter 23 bars. Okay, so from that, this is now to be it. Okay, so this is now um, AS and then FS. Okay, so um, also, if this is 0 0.85 F'C, If this is 0.85 F'C, then meaning that the resultant of that compression block would now be the following. So let's say that this is now our compression block. So from that, this is now equal to 0 0.85 times F'C times A times BW, of course. So times A times BW. Okay, so let me just write our data here. So if this is... 350 mm. So once again, this is 350. And for our total depth, so, or sorry, not total depth, for our effective depth. So that is now equal to 420. Okay, so um, if you are solving for the nominal strength, so again, for the nominal strength, we have two formulas. Namely, 0.85 F prime C A B W times lever arm. Okay, so once again, what we did here was that we have solved for the moment about this point. So it is basically this force times the lever arm, which is D minus A over 2. Also, if you would be getting the moment about this point, so meaning that the nominal moment is equal to so asfs times this is d minus a over 2 so times d minus a over 2 okay so our common issue here is what is now the value of a so for the value of a once again you can solve for it via getting the summation of forces horizontal equal to zero from that compression is equal to tension and from that once again 0.85 F prime C, A, B, W, so this is compression. This is now equal to A, S times F, S. But the thing is, we actually have another issue here. What is the value of F, S? Okay, so for the value of F, S, guys, um, again, what we did in our previous video lecture was that we have solved for the row balance, then we have compared it with the actual row. Okay? So, for, uh, for that, so 
checking for fs okay so once again what i want to do here is that i will be solving for row first so the actual row is equal to once again this as divided by the area of concrete effective concrete so basically this area here okay so from that our as so since we have 10 pieces of 28 mm diameter rebars so from that this is now equal to so um 10 pieces of pi over 4 times 28 squared so was that it so was it 28 yes 28 squared D divided by the base times the depth so our base is 350 our effective depth is 420 so times 350 times 420 so with that looking at the calculator to your left this is now equal to so pi times uh, sorry 10 times pi over 4 times 28 squared divided by 350 times 420 okay so our answer here is equal to 0 0.419 so 0 0.0419 again this is the value of rho actual so let us now solve for rho balanced in order for us to know if it would yield or not so rho balanced is now equal to so for rho balance um again this is equal to 0.85 f prime c over fy times beta 1 times 600 over 600 plus fy so better memorize this formula here okay so uh, from that substituting known values our rho balanced is now equal to 0.85 times f prime c our f prime c in this situation is 25 megapascals so 25 megapascals divided by fy so our fy here is 420 so 420 times beta 1 so we forgot to solve for beta 1 or i forgot to solve for beta 1 but the thing is it is easily solvable since our f prime c is 25 so since it is less than 28 or less than equal to 28 megapascal meaning that the value for beta 1 is equal to 0 0.85 so from that our beta 1 is also equal to 0.85 so 0 0.85 times 600 divided by 600 plus fy of 420 okay so from that our row balanced now is equal to so looking at the calculator once again 0.85 times 25 divided by 420 times 0.85 times 600 over 600 plus 420 so the raw balance here is now equal to 0 0.02529 so 0 0.02530 so i have already rounded it up so as you can see, if we would now be um, comparing the row and the row balance, we are asked for the row balance that is 0 0.02530 and for the row actual, so that is 0 0.0419. Okay, and as you can see that this is greater than row balance. So what that indicates it is that it has plenty of rebars outside what is required in order for you to get a value of fy equal to i uh, sorry in order for you to get an fs equal to fy so if it has plenty of rebars it just means that the rebars or the tension side is very strong and with that being said guys our conclusion here is that the steel would not yield so meaning guys that our fs is less than fy and from that guys it is not equal so meaning guys that in our equation here so for our equation here we cannot substitute fs to be fy instead if you can remember that 
sub S is actually equal to 600 times D minus C over C. So from that, we will now be making use of this equation in substitution with the value of Fs. So once again, rewriting the summation of forces horizontal here. So that is now equal to 0 0.85 F prime C A sub BW. This is now equal to A S F S. But instead of us writing this as FY, I will now substitute this equation to this particular equation. Okay, so from that, 0 0.85 times F prime C times A times B sub W. This is now equal to A S. So, AS times FS of 600 times D minus C over C. Okay. So, for the value of F prime C, this is already given. As for the value of B sub W, this is already given. As for the value of AS, that is easily solved. So, we have two unknowns here. So, A and then C. But take note that we can actually solve for either one of the following by making use of the other. As you know that... A is basically equal to beta 1 C. So from that, I will be rewriting this equation in such a way that only C is unknown. Okay, so from that, 0 0.85 times F prime C times beta 1 times C times B sub W. This is now equal to AS times 600 times D minus C all over C. Okay, so substituting all known values, so 0 0.85. So the value of our F prime C, that is 25 megapascals, times beta 1, that is 0.85. So the value of C, we actually do not know that yet. And as for the b value of B sub W, that is um, B sub W, B sub W, 350. Okay, so this is now 350. So this is now equal to AS. So for our AS, we have 10 pieces of... 28 millimeter rebars, so times 600 times D, our D is 420 minus C all over C. Okay, so let us now um, simplify all of this equation. So simplifying this equation here, it would now give us an answer of 0 0.85 times 25 times 0 0.85 times 350. So our answer here is 6321.875C. But take note that we have a C here. So from that, I will just be cross multiplying it to the other side. From that, this is now equal to C squared. So this is now equal to. So um, if I am to multiply this ones here. So from that, guys, this is now equal to 10 times pi over 4 times 28 squared times 600 times 420. So that is now equal to 15516954443. So um, since I do not want to uh, write all of those in my calculation later, I will just be storing this. So shift store to C. Okay, so I have stored this to see already. Okay, so better yet, if I if I would be storing this to A, so from that, again, 0 0.85 times 25 times 0 0.85 times 350, I will be storing this to A. And for the last value, so this is negative, so um, that is 10 times pi over 4 times 28 squared. So 10 times pi over 4 times 28 squared times 600. So this is also minus 3694512.961c. So I will store this to b. So that if I am to um arrange this once here this is now equal to so 6321.875 uh c squared minus or plus i should say since this would now be 
transfer to the other side. So plus 369 4512.9621C minus whatever this value is. So 15516954443. So this is now equal to 0. Okay. So take note that this is, I mean, this was stored in A. And as for this, the value here, 3694512, this is now stored in B. And as for this value, this is stored in C. But take note that it is negative. Okay, anyway, so going to mode 5, 3. So I would just be, wait, did I store that to C? So alpha C. Okay, so going to mode 5, 3. So for A, that is alpha A. For B, that is alpha B. For C, that is negative alpha C. Since alpha C is just this value, take note that it should be negative. Okay, so from that, the value of C1 is now equal to, wait, did I? Oops, I think I forgot to store the value for B. Okay, anyway, so let me just um, retype it here. So for the value of B, or for alpha B, that is now equal to 10 times pi over 4 times 28 squared times 600. So there. So again, this is for B here. So I would be storing this to B. Okay, so once again, going back to mode 5, 3. So this is alpha A. This is alpha B. And this is negative alpha C. So our answers would be the following. So for C1, this is equal to 282.977. And for C2, this is now equal to negative 867 so with that being said guys this is more realistic so we would now be making use of this particular value for our c so from that c is equal to 282.977 okay so can we confirm that fs is really less than fy okay so confirmation so this is just a confirmation So, Fs is equal to 600 times D minus C all over C. So, from that, 600 times 420 minus 282.977 divided by 282 minus 977. So, from that, the value of Fs is now equal to, so looking at the calculator once again, 600 times... Um, 420 minus 282.977 divided by 282.977. So as you can see, that for the value of Fs, that is actually equal to 290.53 or 532 megapascal. Okay, so this is now the value of Fs. Okay, so we, from that, we can now solve for the moment. So from this moment... From this moment here or this moment here, it would now be up to you. So, for this time, I would now want to make use of ASFS times T minus A over 2. Okay. So, for FS. So, if I am just to, um, let's say, maybe it would be better if I would be continuing with my solution on this column here. So, from that. Since MN is equal to ASFS, so from that MN is now equal to uh, AS, so that is pi over 4, or 10 times pi over 4 times FS, and our, our newly solved FS is 290. 290.532 megapascals. Okay, so uh, from that, 10 pi over 4, oops, sorry. 
This is 10 pi over 4 times the diameter of the rebar, I should say. The diameter of the rebar is 28 mm squared. Okay, so from that, uh, multiplying this by Fs, and the Fs is the newly computed, 290.532. Times, so um, 10 pi over 4 times diameter squared times Fs times D minus A over 2. So our D is equal to 420. Minus A over 2, our A. So we do not know the value of A yet, but we already have the value of C. But then again, A is basically equal to beta 1C. So for 282.977. So um, I will just be typing them here or writing them here so this is now 0 0.85 times 282.977 so once again this is a is equal to beta 1c okay so this should be divided by 2 so this is d minus a over 2 okay so substituting in our calculator, so that is 10 times pi over 4 times 28 squared times 290.532 times four, uh, sorry, 420 minus 0 0.85 times 282.977 divided by 2. Okay, so our answer here would now be equal to, so the value of mn is equal to 536212643.6 newton millimeter. And if you want to convert it into kilonewton meter, so just simply divide this by 1 million. So our answer here is 536.2126 kilonewton meter. Okay, so that. So alternatively, we can also make use of the other equation being, so um, that is now equal to mn is equal to 0.85 times F prime C times A times B sub W times D minus A over 2. So from that, substituting all known values, 0 0.85 times 25 times A. So take note, guys, that A, so I will just be moving this here. So A is now equal to beta 1 C. So beta 1 is 0.85 and C is 282.977. So our answer here is now equal to so 0.85 times 282.977. So that is 240.530. So from that, this is now 240.530 times BW of 350 times D of 420 minus A over 2 of 240.53 over 2. Okay, so from that, the value of mn is now equal to, so looking at the calculator once again, 0 0.85 times 25 times 240.53 times 350 times the quantity of 420 minus 240.53 divided by 2. Okay, so our answer here is 536.208492 newton millimeter. So if we would now be dividing this by 1 million, Oops, sorry. So one more. So our value for MN is now equal to 536.2084 or 0.2084 kilonewton meter. So comparing it with our answer a while ago, so we only have a slight discrepancy and that discrepancy resulted from rounding of numbers. Okay, so basically those are your answers so it will be up to you which one you would choose but they are basically the same okay so that is now for the value of mn but 
maybe in our situation here, let us make use of this value, which is 536.2126. Okay. So, okay. MN is equal to 536. Oops, sorry. Where did that come from? So, 536 point 2126 or 213. Okay, so that is now our first answer. Okay, so what about for the second question? So for the second question, we are now to solve for the design strength. Again, for the design strength. Okay, so for the design strength, this is basically equal to VMN. So the value of VMN is equal to V times Fn, of course, or V times Mn. So the value of V will, will once again depend upon um, this graph. So where is that graph? So let us now depend it on this graph. But once again, this graph is dependent upon the value of Fs is equal to 600 times D minus C over C. But we have actually solved for this one earlier, but uh, as a reminder, so let us resolve for it. So, um, again, since Fs is equal to 600 times D minus C over C. So, this is now equal to 600 times D of 420 minus C. What was our C once again? C is equal to um, 282.977. Divided by 282.977. So again, the value for our Fs is now equal to 600 times 420 minus 282.977 divided by 282.977. Okay, so once again, this is 290.532 MPA. Okay, so 290.532 megapascal. And if we are now to look at our graph here, so where was that graph once again? So in our graph here, so our FY once again is 420. So if this is 420, 290 is actually located here. So once again, this is 290. And meaning if you would be projecting up, the value of V is equal to 0.65. Okay, so this is now. So V is now equal to 0 0.65. And from that, V MN is equal to 0 0.65 times uh, 536.213. So our answer here is now equal to, so looking at the calculator, 0 0.65 times 536.213. So our answer here for the design strength PMN is now equal to 348.538 kilonewton meter. Okay, so again, my basis for the value of P is the uh, graph. But if you do not like looking at the graph, you can just base it, I mean, base your answer from these situations here. Okay, so there.